Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 92 with me Craig Barton. Now as you may know in this academic year's series of resources of the week videos every fourth video will feature a premium resource and that's a resource that's been designed by a teacher born out tried and tested in the classroom and is now for sale on the TES marketplace. Now this uh, week's premium resource has been created by the wonderful Math Shed and it's Math Shed starter spreadsheet and I paid two pounds of my hard-earned money to snap it up and it has been an absolute bargain and a godsend in my lessons. So let's have a quick look at it. Um, it's a single Excel spreadsheet and it consists of loads and loads and loads of starter questions. Now I'm just going to scroll down here whilst I chat and you can see the range of the questions that are available. And the way the author describes using this, and this is the exact way I've used it, is in those precious 10 minutes at the start of every lesson when you've got to sort out the register, hand out pens, check people have got the book, shout at people who haven't done the homeworks and so on. You want something for the students to be getting on with that's worthwhile. And here is an absolute wonderful array of questions covering pretty much every topic. Now, if you're looking at that thinking, flipping heck, how am I going to project that on the board? There's absolutely loads of it. Fear not, because there's loads of different filters and stuff that we'll go through um, in a moment. So this is the idea. It is a starter spreadsheet designed for those first 10 minutes of a lesson. And it's, I guess it's aimed uh, ideally for GCSE students but the, um, in terms of the topics covered, but there's nothing stopping you using the filters and using this as a starter for Key Stage 3 students um, of any age and any ability. So on the right here, you get loads of different filters. Um, here's, here's an obvious one to start off with, algebra, geometry, number and data. So if you just want um, some number based starters, then just click that and up just come the number questions. So you've got some classic rationalizing the denominators, finding percentages and so on. Um, or you can just show algebra starters and, and so on. So I'll just get uh, the filter taken off. Now you may notice, by the way, that um, the questions are changing here every time I reset that. And that's the beauty of, um, of Excel with the random uh, generator on my computer um, I just have to do a little bit of uh, function f9 but you may have to do something different to change your numbers and you can keep changing it until you find the exact uh, exact set of questions that you like the look of um, Random numbers quite nice as well. Uh, this uh, there's the questions have been divided up into eight sets. So if you just want, for example, set four, that'll just give you a selection of four quest of, of questions that cover a whole different range of topics. So here we've got SIRS areas of triangles um, and circles. Whereas if I pick a different random number, so say for example, I just want random number one, then that's going to uh, generate me a different set of questions there for that one. So that's a very useful function, and I'll just get that back on so we can see them all. Then we get topic specific stuff. So you've got a list of all the different topics that are covered there. You can see there's flipping loads of them, everything you could ever want. So if you just want one on fraction arithmetic or probability or Pythagoras or whatever, you've got it there. And then a really useful feature here is calculator versus non calculator as well. So if you just want to give them a series of non-calculator starter questions for them to be getting on with then there you go there and um, it's arranged by the way so and um, the kind of newer topics um, um, or the more challenging topics are at the top down to the kind of more simple and the ones that the students have, have studied quite uh, quite a while ago towards the bottom so you can choose how you want to want to order that if you want them to have practice of the current stuff then scroll to the top if you want them to have practice of the the stuff that they've been hopefully doing for years then scroll to scroll to the bottom um, so yeah, there's absolutely loads of things going on. The other thing is um, grade. Now I'm not a huge fan of kind of assigning topics for grades and there's a massive debate going on at the moment on Twitter. It's all kicking off there about how um, it's completely um, wrong to assign the new number grades for the new GCSE spec to different topics because all the exam boards have made it very, very clear that um, you can test different topics at completely different levels. And that's true to a lesser extent uh, with the current GCSE spec. So I guess it does make sense to be able to do different grade levels and what I'm certainly doing with my year 11 group is I'm focusing on the kind of grade C and grade D topics because these are the ones that they're dropping these crucial marks that are costing them the, the B's A's and A stars that they all need so I think that's a really useful thing and um, just as kind of a guide to perhaps focus in on them um, on some of those lower grade topics and just check that the students can actually answer them before moving on to the higher stuff because there's no point in them doing the higher stuff if they're going to be if they're going to uh, destroy their chances of getting that grade earlier on so there is a spreadsheet absolutely wonderful uh, absolutely wonderful wonderful resource and again it's just perfect for as the as the resource author says for just saving me time and hassle during those first 10 minutes i can just bang something up on the board it's useful 
the kids can dive straight into it and I can sort out all the other stuff that I need to do. And I'm using this three times a week in my year 11 lessons. What I should also say um, is that the resource, uh, resource author, Math Shed, has kindly produced a video um, available here so um, that talking you through exactly how to use resource and all the different functions. So I could have just sat back, had a cup of tea here and just let you watch that video. Um, but anyway, I've, I've recorded one for you anyway. But give that a watch. And if that's the kind, if it's the kind of resource that you think actually that is going to save me time um, and it's going to save me a load of hassle, then it's I think it's one of those that's definitely worth parting with your hard-earned cash for. So there it is, and I'll be back with a free resource of the week for the next three weeks, and then another premium one in four weeks' time. Hope you found that useful. Take care, and bye for now.